good morning students i'm here to explain you about to the culture sheet 11. okay so let me share the screen and show it to you so the first exercise is vocabulary prepositions this is nothing new okay remember we saw this last year it's just a review next to behind on in front of and there we also have between um over etc no between etc uh points of the compass too we have north south east and west for example in a question where you can find it says where do you live i live in the north in the north of the city or you can also say i live in the south of the city or i live in the west part of the city or in the east part of the city okay then we have everyday objects you have to recognize the objects that you find in the wagon for example we have clock picture blanket camera diary lamp bowl box hairbrush money jewelry cup plate cushion towel and comb so you gotta tick the objects you find in the wagon. The next activity is a reading part, okay? The reading with the exercise, okay? I'm gonna share the screen one more time so you can see the exercise with the answer. Here we have it. Uh, it says available objects like jewelry and coins. So in the article, you'll find treasure treasure number two a special machine to find metal read and you'll find metal detector okay metal detector so you continue with the same activity until you finish the exercise okay the next activity is activity number two so we continue with everyday objects okay and prepositions. It says, look at the picture and write sentences about the things in the box. Okay, we have cat, chairs, hat, man, piano, and table. I give you two examples. The cat is under the chairs, right? The hat is on the piano. Good. Okay, you continue. And activity number three says, answer the question using points of the combat. Which part of your country do you live in? Two, which part of your town is your house or flat in? Flat is apartment, apartment. Where is the capital C in your country? Okay, we have activity number four, complete the sentence with the prepositions from the box. We have out of, up, into, and down. Let me share the screen okay let me share the screen and you will have this okay hold on a second please here i have the activity As you can see this is activity for example they went the hall for the exam you have to choose up into down or out of First one is into, into, the preposition of movement. I heard a noise in the sky, so I looked, I looked up, okay? Yes, that's the answer. Then you continue, okay, until you finish this exercise. And finally, we have activity number five, let me, share it activity number five okay this is a complete the sentence with the objects in the box okay with the objects in the box let me share the screen one more time so you can see two examples i'm going to give you two examples okay for example the first one is there was an a clock a clock on the wall in their exam room. I didn't know what the time was. Number two is it. That's a lovely, I have to choose, choose a word. 
picture. Do you draw it? Did you draw it? Okay. So on and so forth. Okay. Continue until you finish the exercise. That's all for uh, today, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Do not forget to study, practice your English, speak, write, listen, okay, and do the pedagogical shit on time, not late. Just use your imagination and creativity. Thank you very much.